everybody. Welcome. Uh, thank you to all of my new subscribers. A big, big welcome to you and uh, hi to everybody who's been with me for a while. Thank you guys so much. Um, okay, let's just jump in. Um, I recently shared with my patrons how to make these little faux um, leather numbers tags. And so that got me um, thinking about uh, the possibility of making some faux metal. So I thought today we would just jump in and I'll show you how quick and easy it is to make this. First you're going to need a small rectangle or a small circle die or punch. Um, this is about a one and a half inch size and then this, you know, I'm not, let's see, it's going to be about one and three quarter by one and a quarter. Um, but, you know, you can alter this to suit whatever dies you've got and then you're also going to need some of these little numbers dies. If you don't already have these items you can check out my Amazon affiliate link in the description box and you can find these items um, there. So let's just get started very quickly. This, this is such an easy um, little project. I think you'll enjoy this. So I'm just going to do probably one of each and then I'll carry on off off camera. I've cut these out of uh, the heavy recycled craft cardstock. I had some of that. I don't usually like working with that in my uh, journals. It's a bit too heavy but it's perfect for this project. So the first thing you want to do is cut out three of the numbers because you want to layer those up so that you've got some uh, you know, some thickness so that they will stand out against your uh, bottom piece. And I found that three works the best. I did the first batch I did, I, I'd only used two, but the three really looks nice. So get that glued together and sit that over, let that dry. Well, let me just go ahead and get a couple of these so that they're going ahead and drying. So I hope everybody is doing well and uh, staying healthy and sane during the lockdown. <laughs> I don't know, most of you I think are probably not in lockdown anymore. Um, so yeah, I'm just curious what everybody's getting up to. If you got lots of journals that you're working on or are you working on some small projects? You know, I, I can do journals for a few weeks and then I have to step back and do little projects like this. I need a break from the, the large projects. Okay, um, now the next thing you're going to need is some embossing powder. I should have said this at the beginning. Uh, this is some gold. If you've got like a um, gunmetal, uh, that would look awesome. I don't have any of that at the moment. And then you're going to need a Versa um, stamp pad. And what that does, if you're new to <coughs> heat embossing, that's going to um, provide something for your um, embossing powder to stick to. So I'm just going to do the, the bottom portion first. And I just take that and lie it on the, the little pad and get that inked up really, really good. Make sure you've got all the corners and then just sit that over out of the way. Same for the circle. And then sit that out of the way. <clears throat> and then you're just going to cover those with some of the embossing powder. Give that a little shake so you get any of the excess off. And this one I can see I've missed a little bit there where those tweezers were. So let me sit this out of the way and do this one first.
messed that one up. Oh well. Try to get this other one up without messing that up as well. I should have done one at a time, I think. But hey ho! Okay, there they are. Just gonna let those cool down while I go ahead and. Um, I'm going to put this <clears throat> powder back into the container so we can get the numbers done. Again, just uh, lie those on the VersaPad and get them in inked up really, really well. And then I'm just going to dip these in straight in. This is the way I did it last time. Same with this one. Yep, that's covered. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit for just a minute, guys, and I'll sit these things over to the side here. down make sure those are okay yep those are good so now I'm just going to glue that on and you might have to hold it down for a little bit because I have noticed once they're embossed it does not want to um, to glue down so I just held those in place for a little bit. Okay, now <clears throat> I'm just going to take, make sure I got all that embossing off. I'm just going to kind of go along the edge with my dark ink pad. But let me try using this other one. And this is just black. I started off with the old espresso, but um, I decided I think the permanent ink is going to work better. And it just kind of tones that down. It makes it look more like old brass, really. Beautiful. I love it. And so now, let me just put a couple of eyelets in those, and these will be ready to go.
Okay, guys, there they are. Clear this out of the way so you can see. I love how those came out. They honestly do look like um, old brass. So there you go. There's another way for you to achieve the um, faux metal for your tags. I hope you guys have enjoyed that, and I'll be back very soon with some more ideas. Take care. Bye.